So going next. So the next slide is explaining the difference between information security and cybersecurity. And when we talk about the securing of digital assets or non-digital assets, we will find that information security team is concerned about this part. Informa information security team does not care about what are the form of the asset that we are trying to, or the information asset that we are trying to secure. So we, in, in information security, we care about securing all form of information, so physical or digital. And we uh, based, uh, and in cybersecurity, we are focusing on securing data that in digital form only. In the information security, we can care about the confidentiality, integrity, and availability for all the elements related to information. For example, in information security, we are not only about confidentiality, or we are not only concerned about the confidentiality aspect, about how to access digital data, but we also review the physical access to the data center to ensure only authorized users or only authorized people are allowed to access the data center. While in cybersecurity, we focus in securing data that are only on digital form, and we are concerned about deploying security controls and keep it, and keep it running. So in short, and to uh, make it more clear to you, when we look to someone such as network security administrator, application security administrator, IT system or IT security administrator, all of these people are concerned about how to implement firewall, implement antivirus, and the secure data that are installed or uh, uh, stored on a specific server. But what about the security of the physical data center that includes the server? That is out of the responsibility of cybersecurity people. Who care about the physical security aspect as well as the digital security? We will found it, the information security people. Of course, in our organizations, we have physical security team, which managing the security cameras, the access log, security guards, that's correct. But part of information security responsibility is to ensure also the, phys the physical security team is doing his job when it comes to securing the data center. Information security team, when they provide training or awareness training to users, they are not simply telling them that you need to have a, a strong password to access your system, but also you do not have to write this password on a piece of paper and leave this piece of paper in uncontrolled access area, like leaving this paper on your desktop and leave your desktop and go away. So information security is much broader term. It does not focus on how to, on how to implement security controls, but is, it, is most con it is more concerned about what shall we do in order to secure our digital assets. They provide like instructions to cybersecurity about how to implement or what is need to what is needed in order to secure what is what, what, what one of the aspects of threats that could affect our environment. Is that clear? So when we talk about the objective of information security, we will find a lot of aspects here. We will find that information security are the one who are responsible for creating security policies, for uh, doing a security risk management, for providing the security awareness to the staff and the new hires, to integrate with the business and to ensure that business projects, the new projects that the business is trying to acquire or initiate, have uh, or uh, uh, have security requirements in place already. They also are concerned about vendor management, incident management and guidance, business continuity planning, and the compliance management. What do we mean by compliance management is, if I am a FinTech organization or a financial institution, I should be uh, or I have to comply with a certain regulation or a certain standard. 
In this case, the objective of information security is to guide the IT of how to about how to comply with this certain regulation from the IT perspective. So let here ask a question. Why do or why we should not use shared accounts to access our systems? And what do we mean by shared account, for example, is something such as admin account or administrator, if we are talking about Microsoft, or root account, if we are talking about Linux. That's absolutely correct. That's why when we develop access control in our organization, we need to ensure everyone should have a specific username that is linked to this user to promote the accountability. Because in our security, in addition to, or, or one of the objectives of information security, in addition to the ensuring the CIA, the confidentiality, integrity, and availability, we need to ensure that we have also the concept of non-repudiation and the accountability. And the non-repudiation means we have a technique or measures in place that ensure no one can deny what he did. Because we will have a sort of logs, and these sort of logs will confirm that the one who did a specific action on a system at a specific time is really the one who did this action or use this username or user account. So the usage of shared accounts, such as admin, administrator, or root, does not promote the accountability. While if, you, if we, we use a specific username for uh, managing, uh, and this username is traceable and linked with each individual in the organization, everyone has a unique user ID, we can have the accountability achieved as well. So here is like a, a recap for what does security offer. So security help organizations to achieve confidentiality, integrity, availability, and it can help them to achieve the authentication to the system and accountability and the non-repudiation by making system users accountable as they cannot deny what they performed on the system. So is that clear so far?